For this problem, we do want the area between the curves, right? The area that's in blue. So we do know that the area uh, beneath the curve is given by the integral. So we need to think about how we're going to set up this integral. Because if we take um, the integral of the pink curve, we're taking the whole area beneath it, right? Which is this um, yellow part that I'm drawing. However, we don't want all of this. We only want a part of it. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this whole area and we'll subtract this other area um, that's beneath the blue curve from it, right? Because then when I'm subtracted, I'm just left with this part in red, which is what I originally wanted. So to set this up, we do need to know the boundaries of integration. Um, we do know that the, one of the points is at x equals 4, but we don't know the lower point right over here. It does appear that it is at x equals 0. However, we don't want to rely on visual approximation. We always want to get precise analytical results. So we are going to um, set these equations equal to each other so that we can find where they intersect. So that is 5x minus x squared is equal to x. Now I'm just going to bring all of these to one side and I'm going to factor it. So 0 is equal to x squared uh, minus 5x plus x. And then 0 is equal to x times x minus 4. Um, and now we can very clearly see that they intersect at x equals 0 and at x equals 4. So we're ready to set up our integral. Um, so it is the integral from 0 to 4. And as we previously said, it is... The, um, the pink curve minus the blue curve. So this is 5x minus x squared and then minus x. So I'm just going to simplify it a little bit and then apply the reverse power rule. So this is the integral from 0 to 4 of um, x squared minus x squared and then plus 4x and all of this dx. Um, so when we integrate it, we do get uh, minus x cubed over 3 plus 4x squared over 2. And then we are going to evaluate it at our boundaries. Um, so this is equal to minus 4 cubed over 3 plus um, 4, 4 squared times 4, right? So that is also 4 cubed. So 4 cubed uh, over 2. And then normally I would apply the lower boundary, but the lower boundary is just going to be 0 for both cases. Um, so I'll just, I'll just put it here so that we don't, we don't lose track of it, right? Um, but that's not going to factor in our calculations. So our total result is just minus 64 over 3 plus... 64 over 2, and when we put that into our calculator, we do get um, 32 over 3. So this 32 over 3 is um, the, the bit of area that's between them, right? This stuff over here. Um, and that's it for this one.